Hey guys, got a game of Call of Duty Black Ops for you, multiplayer, on firing range. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, I don't get the best KDR in this game. I think I go, like, 30 to 7, which, you know, it's not a flawless game, obviously, but, yeah, you get used to it. And, um, so I'm repping the AK-74U with the grip attachment, I believe. And um, I should have seen that there because my perks that I have a hacker, sleight of hand, and hardline. And um, the reason why I've got this perk set up is because I play a lot of search and destroy, and the hacker perk helps a lot because I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard time finding those claymores in this game without it. It's usually when I'm like teabag and right on top of them is when they usually get me. And oh yeah, last stand. Um. My opinion on last stand is if that if you're going to take enough damage to go down into last stand, I think you should just die anyway. <clears throat> I mean, like, I've come up against people who will go into last stand, but they won't fire at me. And they'll, like, this is taking in time for me to reload and stuff and realize that they're in last stand. And they let me kill them, and I have respect for that. But at the same time, I think, why are you going to waste one of your perk slots? on that when you can have something a bit better and I don't know maybe help you out. So yeah, um kill streak setup that I've got. I am 3 for the spy plane, 8 I believe for the blackbird and then 11 for the attack dogs. And the reason why I've chosen the attack dogs over the um uh, chopper gunner is because I pref I used to rep Halo like it was going out of style in Modern Warfare 2. Mainly for the fact that you can use that kill streak while keeping your body safe on the ground. I don't know if that makes sense. You don't have to take your head out of the game. <clears throat> and yeah, so um, pick up that, go back to this. And I've only got five bullets left, so I'm kind of freaking out going up against this guy. But luckily, I get a headshot. And um, yeah, use the Blackbird to your advantage. I know you do, but... In that situation there, I waited until I knew that he wasn't facing me, and then I went out to confront him, I guess, how to say it. And here I let my pack of savage maulers out, also known as the bloody German shepherd dogs that people reckon that they're a bit overpowered, but I don't know. If you can see where they're coming from, they're pretty easy to kill. They don't hide in the rafters and pounce on you some like some demonic animal. There, just run along the ground, and if you back yourself into a corner, you can see him coming from a mile away. And yeah, um, what always surprises me about this game is not just Black Ops in general, but the Call of Duty franchise is how and what people classify as camping. I mean, I'll play a game similar to this, and then at the end of the game, I'll get a message saying, "Oh, stop camping, learn how to play the game properly," and. I I just didn't realise that playing the game properly, guys, meant running out into the middle of the map, waving a flag and screaming out my name. I mean, uh, correct, you, he's obviously corrected me in my wrongdoings and I'll probably start playing more like him from now on. But yeah, you know, so. And um, what I miss from Modern Warfare 2 is what I'm sure a lot of people miss, the sniping. And I understand why they nerfed it but I don't understand why they nerfed it to the extent that they did um, it, it's almost impossible to snipe quickly in this game you have to pretty much hard scope for a good uh, I don't know like maybe three to five seconds before you can get a good shot on without your guy bloody waving his scope all over the place and um so yeah and I miss that I reckon it was one of the best bits about Modern Warfare 2 I don't know about you but like, I wasn't bloody 720 backflipping off the top of the high-rise crane like some people were, but it felt pretty darn rewarding to pull off a quick scope here and there. And, um, because I play a lot of Search and Destroy, again, the kill cams was always pretty fun. And so, yeah, um, how much longer do I have left in this video? Uh, yeah, so let me know if you guys like this style of... Um, game and commentary, or if you prefer the achievement videos or the walkthrough videos. I mean, I'll end up probably doing all of them anyway, so it's not like I'll just 
put all my time into one, but it will be nice to know which ones you guys prefer to see and I'll put more time and effort into those. And probably will release more of those ones. Because at the end of the day, it's you guys viewing it. And, um, boom, got a hit marker with a tomahawk there. I don't know what happened. And, yeah, so, um, I have a fail here, fail on the wall bang. <coughs> and I go on here and this guy basically just drops dead from the side of me. And I thought this guy was up top, but no, he tricked me. He's down the bottom. I don't know why I thought he was up top. I guess it was just in-game moment. And this is my last kill here, so... If you like and enjoy these videos, I mean, it's only like my fourth video up, so I'm still pretty new. Just let me know. I'll probably do more. And yeah, so just rate and subscribe.